Tommy, we're here, Tyson Fury press conference in Morecambe ahead of Alexander Usyk. Bit of a delay with the fight, but look, it's happening. Are you pumped to see him get back in there and do his thing? 100%, 100%, definitely. I feel like um, the fight's come at the great time and, you know, May 18th, you're going to see one face, one name, one champion. Thank you, you know, thank you to God. There's not going to be like a million belts scattered everywhere. They're all going to be right here in Morecambe, belonging to Tyson. So um, I can't wait for the night. It's going to be a great night. Although there was a delay, obviously, with the cut, which can't yeah. be helped. How has that sort of, what's that done to his preparations? Because we see the shape of him. He looks in tremendous shape, night and day from the Francis Ngannou build-up. What has the delay done to him? Uh, nothing really. It's just put the fight a little bit back. Like you know, he's not took his foot off the gas. He's not been out of the gym. He's not been nothing. He's just been kept on training. Yeah, he might ease off sparring a little bit, but training wise, he's been training harder than ever. Um, so all that was, it was just a delay, and that's it. You know, we got a date pretty much uh, pretty pretty quickly after. So um, you know, and we're not far out from that date. So roll on. Have you seen the difference? Um, in him in terms of Francis Ngannou preparation for this fight obviously two different kind of fighters but have you seen it in him like the difference yeah definitely I feel like uh, he's more mentally switched on I feel like he's mentally there um, you know and he's he's in a lot better condition you know you've seen him with the shirt off and he posted a picture of the day but he's in 10 times better shape than that and he just keeps on improving every week you know my dad's here in camp now putting him through his paces um, so I think he's going to be a, a machine you know a wrecking ball on the night and uh I wouldn't like to be Alexander Usyk, I'll tell you that. Tyson, uh, Tommy, just move on to yourself. Um, how is kind of injury healing and uh, when can we expect news on yourself? Yeah, injury's going all right. Uh, not too bad. I had it done in January, so um, it's a bit on now. You know, making a full recovery. Um, everything's gone according to the plan. You know, speak to the doctors twice a week. Everything's going great. So, um, you know, if I can squeeze one in, excuse me, at the end of the year, I'd, um, I will do that. You know, hopefully I just get the ring rest out because I don't want to have too long out the ring. Um, but if not, then we roll on to 2025. God, time is flying, and um, we start with a bang. Um, could that fight be Conor McGregor? I know you want that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, if it makes money, it makes sense. You know, that's the way I look at everything. You know, that you know, and the fight will make money because, you know, it's, you know, you go off the the fights that I've done in the previous. You know, the the pay per views that they've done. You know. What, what they've account, you know, it speaks for itself. Uh, millions of pay-per-view buys, millions of views. So at the end of the day, I'm sure he's got some obligations with the UFC left, but at the end of the day, if he wants to come over and get in a boxing ring again, he knows he knows what phone to call. The Furies are the biggest name in boxing, you know, thanks to Tyson, but, you know, he knows. You know, why go chase after two guys that I've already beat? You know, come over and face the king of the hill. Obviously, after, or in the build-up to the KSI fight, there was... It got heated between the two of you yeah, and your yeah, dad. Yeah. Would we see that same kind of animosity between you and Conor McGregor? Or would it be strictly be fun, business? Mate. I think yeah. it'd be fun. I'd probably challenge him to a shot off a proper 12 at the press conference. <laughs> we'd probably get both get in the ring, don't know, two bottles of proper 12 deep. And we'd just have fun with it. Listen, it'd be good. I think it'd be a great fight, like talking fight-wise. I think it'd be good because obviously he's putting a bit of size now. Um, you know, I think it'd be great. I really do because I'm not that experienced in the boxing. Um, obviously, I've been doing it a lot longer than him. But... You know, he looks like he can handle himself in boxing wise, so I think it would be a good matchup. You, so why not? Sorry to quit you. You just said um, you on another interview that you, you would love to be a world champion, you're only what twenty four years of yeah. age, I believe. Um, you mentioned there though, but if it makes money it makes sense. Yeah. Do you own, is that gonna sort of come come to a head because obviously the money you're making now in that scene, yeah. for you to become a world champion, it might be a bit of a difficult route and the money yeah. potentially not the same. Is that gonna come at loggerheads at some point? Yeah, I mean listen, at the end of the day the world champion the world champion and being that and you know, trying to achieve that, that's just for myself. You know, that, and that's not, but by the time that comes, I won't be fighting for money. I'll just be fighting because I want to achieve that. So, you know, these fights that I'm doing now, yeah, they're very big and lucrative fights, but, the, you know, fighting for a world title, that'd, that'd just be like fulfilling a promise to myself. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously, you know, there's world champions out there not making near what I'm making on these fights. So, obviously, I'm not stupid, you know, it's, it's not going to be the same sort of money, but that's just a personal thing. Can you see you at the top end of the table with Tyson, with everything he's achieved though? Um, for instance, uh, there's an off night against Ngannou, gets criticism, but if he beats Usyk, he's mentioned there, don't call him shit after. Yeah. When you see that side of it and you yeah. see the criticism he gets um, over cuts and the people are asking, you know, is it genuine this, that and the other? I mean, what's, first off, what's your response to them critics and does that sort of, you know, put you off maybe the top end going for it on that side of it? Uh, not really, because at the end of the day, everybody's going to have critics, you know, and everybody's going to have uh, opinions about you, but that don't really matter. As long as you're doing your job where you need to to do it who gives a fuck what anybody else has got to say you know I don't I don't care what anybody thinks about me as long as my family and you know God and Jesus they all think I'm a good person I'm doing right by myself that's all that matters to me 
Last one. Um, what do you think of your former foe, Jake Paul, getting in the ring with Mike Tyson in a couple of months? Well, he couldn't beat me, so he's going to fight granddads now, um, which is terrible. You know, what you was isn't what you are now. Mike Tyson, absolute legend. He deserved the utmost respect. And uh, listen, it is what it is. Um, if Mike don't knock him out, I will next time. <laughs> Tommy, thank Tommy. you very much, mate. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Appreciate, Cheers. It. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Cheers.